Hey everybody, it's David Pingru. We're out at Competitive Edge today for Honda's 2015 CRF 250 introduction. Uh, some big changes this year, starting with the fork. You know, uh, they're going to the triple air chamber fork from Showa. And uh, we've seen that on some other models this year, and they're going to go go ahead and put that on the 250 this year. Also, larger rotor, different ECU mappings, uh, some smaller changes inside. Obviously, some changes to the shock to go along with the fork. Uh, but all around, looks like a refined bike with with an all new fork, and uh, we're going to go see how it works today. Hi, my name is Scott Bennett. We're here at Competitive Edge uh, for the 2015 CRF 250 intro. I'm here to explain the new 2015 triple air fork for the 250F. We have the triple chamber on the left and the damper on the right. This is uh, uh, opposite compared to some of the other manufacturers. We also do not have an external triple chamber chamber. Uh, the triple chamber is actually inside the fork on this one. Reason being, Honda requested it like this. Basically, it works the same as all triple chamber, chamber forks, except uh, Honda doesn't recommend running pressure on the outside. And what that does is, in case you get a nick in the tube, it won't leak. But some of the other manufacturers like to run pressure on the inner, on the outer, excuse me. This one, we just run pressure on the inner and on the tack, and you reach the tack from underneath it. Uh, compression side, basically the same as, as a lot of the other bikes. Compression on top, rebound on bottom. No spring in there, no air, just oil. Pretty basic setup. We're all wrapped up here today at Competitive Edge for the CRF 250R launch, and uh, we love this bike. You know, it's a, it's a super comfortable machine, very, very capable. This has won our shootout uh, many times over the last five, six, seven years, so uh, we didn't expect to not like it. The big change this year is the fork, and uh, even though this looks different on the outside from the triple air chamber fork that would be on, say, the KX450, it's the same thing, just designed a little different. There's still three chambers. Uh, today when we started in the standard positioning, it was a little low as far as ride height goes for me. We added a couple pounds to the inner chamber. That got my ride height up where I wanted it. The bike was nice and balanced, but then it gave it a little bit of a harsh feel and G outs and uh, entering turns where there's chatter. So we opened up the compression clickers a couple clicks. That got my nice supple feeling that I wanted coming into the turns and in those spots, but still uh, held the fork up where I wanted. So. This fork's great, you just have to play with it and really get comfortable adding air, taking it away, turning clickers, and figure out what does what. Um, I'm, I'm still not 100% on it, but getting better. Uh, but you have so much adjustability with this fork, you can get this thing working great. And uh, I think that's the advantage of this. You know, um, it's easy to add air pressure, take air pressure away, turn clickers, and you can really get it fine-tuned for uh, what you want. Another feature this year that was new, uh, is the adjustability here. You've got three mapping settings uh, that you can just push a button and um, it gives you sort of just different feels. I like the standard one. There's a more aggressive one and then a, a more mellow one. Myself, I like the standard one, but <clears throat> that's all personal preference. Uh, bigger front rotor on the front, great stopping power, something that I think Honda needed to address. And uh, the bigger rotor went up to a 260 millimeter front rotor and brings it to a stop a lot better than it has in the past. Past that, it's small details, but uh, overall, love this bike. Thanks, Honda, for letting us come out and uh, turn some laps on it. 
and uh, look for a Racer X shootout coming up soon. See how the CRF does. Hello? Is this thing on? Good evening, San Diego.